Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? So I'm back with um, some of my Black Friday and what I do in this channel is on Black Friday I always try to go ahead and uh, try um, try products from makeup companies that I don't necessarily buy from. And excuse me as I go through here. I just got a new haircut and I don't know exactly what to do with it yet. So I'm still working on it, but yeah, I think that's a little bit better. There we go. Um, so um, I am really liking the haircut. TIGI, the hairdressing academy is right near me. And so I get to go over there and, and um, be uh, somebody's test subject for an afternoon and it's kind of fun kind of like doing that so that's uh, this hair cut that I'm actually really liking and then um, to go ahead and get back to makeup I started off with the super goop and this is uh, their glow oil it's SPF 50 on there and I went ahead and used the house labs this is the Fair Cool in shade 50, so that's what I have on as far as the foundation. Did go ahead and use the Wet n Wild Incognito uh, for my concealer today. And then as far as the brows, I use the Essence Thick and Wow. This one is one in Caramel Blonde. It does take my brows a little bit darker than what they um, usually, or what I usually use. I usually go with a taupe or something like that. I don't know. They say darker brows make you look younger. I don't know. Tell me what you think down in the comments because I don't know about that one. I'm not sure if they actually got that one right. As far as what I used on the cheeks, I grabbed a ton of ColourPop and ended up using a ton of ColourPop. So I started off with the Sunset Strip. This is a cream one. Um, I like to use it as a base because it has a good color that matches me. And then I went ahead and used Just Cruising and um, let's see which one. Okay, so I went ahead and used Just Cruising in the back up by um, my ear. And then on the um, front part of the cheeks, I went ahead and used Dancing Queen. And this is by ColourPop uh, as well. I did go ahead and mix a whole bunch of highlighters together because I like a really highlight-y look. I first off used the 201 Daybreak by Revlon, which is one of my favorites. It's actually a dupe for the Amorese highlighter by um, Anastasia. And um, they actually have a new highlighter out that's a lot like this one. So if you want to get a dupe, um, they have a highlighter out that's a lot like the Amorese highlighter that's no longer available. So Anastasia put out another highlighter that's a lot like that one that they don't have anymore. Uh, this one I think is a dupe for both of them. And yes, the packaging's all messed up and that's because I use my makeup quite a lot. And then I did go ahead and use, um, let's see, Magic Hour as well from, um, <clears throat> from Elf Halo Glow. And it just wasn't quite working with the eye look. And it was coming off just a little bit too pink for me. And so I grabbed the Master Chrome. And once I show you the eyeshadow palette, yeah, it this is exactly the right highlight or topper for this particular palette. It goes really well. It's the Molten Peach by Maybelline, the Master Chrome, and it's gorgeous with it. So that's what I have on the cheek there. As far as what I did on the lips, here, let me go ahead and grab this. Went ahead and got the Such a Flirt by ColourPop. I got this during Black Friday because I wanted to get more lippy pencils and my stash, and it was a really good price. And then this one I thought was going to come off um, more brown, and it actually ended up coming off really maroon, burgundy kind of look to it. So I went ahead and added in one of the lip stains. This is from Ulta. And so I have sort of uh, these two on. 
So that's what I did to go ahead and get the lip color. And um, like I said, it just was too burgundy for this look. So I went ahead and did that. And I would go ahead and recommend the lippy pencils um, by ColourPop. I wanted a whole bunch. They do have those three packs over at Target if you, you know, just want to try them out and see if you like them. But um, onto the eyeshadow palette, and I knew. <laughs> I knew I wanted to try this company. In fact, I've been sort of going over there and seeing what they had. But I got the Bard palette from Fantasy Cosmetica and uh, went ahead and did a look. And actually, to tell you the truth, when I first got this palette, I sw swatched it on the inside of my arm and I walked around all afternoon just looking at the swatches because they were so pretty and I was just like, ah! Their um, multi-chrome formula is really, really beautiful. Um, I used this one on the crease. I used the mustard to go ahead and blend out this color in the crease so it's on the brow bone. Um, I did go ahead and use this color in the outer corner and then I used this one in the outer corner as well. So this is on the outer corner to about the middle of uh, the lid. And then this one um, on the inside of the lid. And with these ones, I definitely suggest going ahead and using some setting spray. Well, I mean, I would rather use a setting spray at the end to go ahead and make the eyeshadows pop than go in hand and wetting my brush. Um, I think it gives a lot of the same effect and it's just a little bit easier. Um, but again, it's a gorgeous look. I did also use an Emrite, uh, let's see, shadow, yeah, gel eyeliner as well on this, this way that it came out. And these are very definitely multi-chromes. They change depending on what kind of light you're in. Um, but to go ahead and do a really gold, bronzy, terracotta look, it just, I think it turned out wonderful. And I am very, very happy with my purchases. I did have a slight meltdown there for a while, um, but uh, now that I've seen a lot of my purchases, I'm actually really, really happy with what I got. It's just that whole Black Friday and buying things that way is just so foreign to so many of us because I'm not one of those people that went out and for years and years and years bought my makeup all during Black Friday. I mean, it, it really wasn't before YouTube. You didn't get the whole strategy of how to go ahead and do it. I mean, people just weren't talking about it. So, um, yeah, this is actually really fun. And, um, and you get to try out a whole bunch, but it's also a little bit nerve wracking as well. So, um, I guess that's the end of my video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I am trying out a couple of new technical things, so if everything isn't quite the same on this video, that could be some reason. Actually, quite a few new things since, and it's a little bit jarring as well. But again, that's the end of this video, and I hope that you have a great day. Bye!